What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. There was a big update that came out yesterday for the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Flip 3 to a lot of devices. I have the unlocked device and I got it. I know a lot of other people did and I know some people that didn't. So you might not have this update just yet, but it's the One UI 4.1 update for the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Flip 3. So I'm gonna talk about the Fold 3 specifically and uh, I'm gonna go through all the features that they announced in this update. There might be some missing that are hidden underneath the sheets. So if there are, sorry about that, but I'm gonna go through all these and kind of what they mean in case you're curious. So let's talk about it. So the update overall, I didn't capture a screenshot of it, but it was about one gigabyte. My phone is going crazy right now. One gigabyte. So a very, very big update, which was great to see them still supporting and putting out huge, great updates for this phone, even though it's less than a year, but still. Uh, next, they said overall stability of your device has been improved. Very common thing to see in here. The security of your device has also been improved so they brought us up to the uh, june security update and then the next one was the camera functions have been improved now it doesn't go in depth what those camera functions are but then it kind of does so let's dive into that so the first one is night portrait feature has been enhanced so what that means is when you take a photo in your so go you go into your camera i'll have to go to the smaller screen because the bigger screen can't do portrait mode so when you're in, when you go to portrait mode and it's really dark where you are, um, you can take a portrait photo, which basically takes a, a, a photo of a person or, or an animal or something, and then blurs out the background. Well, when it's really dark, it'll take a nighttime portrait mode, and that's not new, but what is new is it gives more light to the subject. So I took a little photo. I don't have a before and after, um, before this update and after this update, but here's a, I basically turned off almost all the lights in my office, took a portrait photo. This is what it looks like on the new update. So again, it just adds light to your nighttime portrait portrait photos. Next up is the telephoto lens is now supported in pro mode. What that means is go into your camera and then go into pro mode. So go to more at the bottom and then go to pro. And right here, you're going to see TW and UW. UW is ultra wide. W is wide or the main camera. And then T is telephoto. So now you can use the telephoto camera on your pro mode settings of your camera for your Galaxy Z Fold 3. The next one is the auto framing feature is supported in video and some video call apps. What does that mean? It means like when you're on like, uh, I use Duo. So when I'm in Duo, there is a mode in there and hopefully I'll get a video call uh, started here, hopefully with my son and I can show you what I mean. So what you do is you go into your video chat and Duo or whatever, specifically Duo, I'll go, I'll go, I guess, because that's what I'm using, and you go into the little wand in the top right and then you're gonna see auto framing. What that does is it will kind of follow you and frame you in the, the photo. So it's not gonna be, if you're really close, it's gonna back up. The, the, the lens will back up or, or if you're really back, it might move ahead, but ultimately it's kind of almost always keep you centered. So even if you're moving around, it's gonna center you. So that's what the auto framing feature is in your video calling apps. The next one is the quality of pictures taken with social or camera apps downloaded from the application store has been improved. What does that mean? It means when you take photos with say, uh, in your Instagram camera or your Snapchat camera or maybe a third party camera app, the photos are gonna be improved now. Now again, I don't have a before and after, but again, when you take photos within those apps, the quality of the photos will be better. So that's great to see as well. The last two have to do with SIM card support. So one is uh, eSIM. So eSIM is when you don't have a SIM card and you can actually sign up for a plan remotely and you just give the carrier, as long as your carrier supports it, the eSIM number. So you'd go into your settings and then you'd go into connections. Then you would go into SIM card manager. Once you're in SIM card manager, you want to go into add mobile plan and it says searching for eSIM mobile plans. This is where you can scan a carrier QR code or bring a plan from an old device. But ultimately you can do that all from your phone without really having to go to a store or get a SIM card or any of that stuff. So pretty cool stuff. And this is available right now. It's, and again, your carrier has to support it in order to use eSIM. And then the last one is dual SIM, dual standby, DSDS support. I'll be honest, I, I don't really know what it is. It sounds like it gives you dual SIM 
Availability, meaning since I don't really have dual SIM in here, I have eSIM, I can have, I can have eSIM and I have a regular SIM card. So it sounds like I can have them both on standby, meaning they wouldn't work. This is the way I'm taking it. Um, and have one work or have, you know, basically that's what it would mean. I, it sounds like to me is dual SIM, dual standby. I can have two, two SIMs set up, an eSIM and a regular SIM, and ha have them both not be on at the same time, but be on the phone basically um, or I can turn one on when I need it so I believe that's what it means if I'm wrong you can correct me in the comments down below but that's the update pretty big update love to see them fix the cameras and improve stuff like that on this phone because uh, it's sorely needed in a lot of ways but let me know what you guys think of the, the uh, update if you found anything extra put it in the comments down below have a great day and we'll see you down the road Peace.